Hey guys, welcome back to our next video. Do go ahead to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new, and be sure to watch those ads. So of course, I do have some unfortunate news. And obviously, based on my title, I am no longer a student ambassador at Norcrest College. This decision was made about two and a half months ago. So I've now taken the time needed to process my feelings. And you know, like, what do I actually think about the decision that was made? And... Uh, that's the reason why you're now getting this video. So, um, to be honest, and to have a true self-reflection with myself, the program, and everything that was going on, I personally believe that it was a fair decision that was made by the head of the ambassador team. Like, it was fair. I wasn't living up to my commitments, you know, of being in the program. Like, I wasn't able to go to the meetings. I wasn't able to even do much volunteering. Like I was doing some, but you know, not enough. You understand? And because of that, I accumulated strikes on strikes. And uh, yeah, eventually I would have been removed from the program. Now, um, irrespective of that, you know, I still feel proud of myself for doing two academic semesters as as uh, as a student ambassador. And yes, it will be on my transcript that I was a student ambassador from this time to the end of this time, etc., etc. So I still will be given the recognition for that as an ambassador. But it's just sad that it had to end the way how it ended. Right now, this all started from about May 14. I do have some emails right here on my laptops where this was when I was just, you know, so much was going on where I never had the time to meet this commitment. It's like I had to prioritize, you know, what in our, it's like I had to prioritize what meant most to me in order of, you know, least importance to, you know, highest importance. And to be honest, like, unfortunately, this is a very good thing, like, Anyone out there that is a student ambassador, like you should feel proud of yourself for being in an ambassador group. But just at that time, it was of least importance to me. And as such, I had it on the bottom of my priority list. Right now, what did I have to do? Right? Like you guys may wonder, oh, what is it that I had to do that took up all my time that I couldn't meet these commitments? Right? Well, you guys know most of it already. I was handling a full course load in January, but that was the least. Like, if I had a full course load and nothing else doing, the ambassador thing would have been so easy to meet the meetings and the necessary commitments. Like, that would have been easy if I just had my courses doing and the, the ambassador thing doing, right? Now, outside of my courses, I also, the, the main thing that took the time away from being an ambassador was the business case competition. Like that took up majority of my time. You understand? Because I had to go to trainings on top of trainings, late nights, early mornings. That took up most of my time. And usually whenever there is an ambassador meeting, I also have a business case competition training. And that was like of more importance to me because like I love being a competitor and like that's that's like urine like if you're gonna talk about urine i'm gonna be a competitor so like i had to be at those training sessions we had a competition coming up my teammates in the business case competition depended on me a lot heavily too so like i never i couldn't let them down i couldn't let down my mentors you know and there was just so much time clash that was going on that unfortunately when this was going on i had the business case i couldn't make to go to this because I choose the business case over this. So that led to me getting getting my first strike. That was my first strike that I got, you know? And I was like, okay, I will try to improve, you know, try to make amends and, you know, try to get back on track. But unfortunately, we don't know why I'm a steer, so I got took I, I took something else up on my head. Like while the business case completion was going on, while I told him that, you know, I would make an effort and while I had my full five course load taken on in the semester, I still decided right after I told them that I'll try to be better, I still decided to go on to take up something else, which was tax filing. You understand? Now, tax filing was voluntarily as well. Like I had to do various hours. And at this time, 
whenever there was like any volunteering to do in the ambassador in the ambassador um thing whenever there was any volunteer sessions or anything like that i would be filing taxes and i thought that filing taxes was like of way more importance and i still do because that's like valid experience that i got from there and you guys know how you guys know how i was filing taxes like that was all over the media you guys know i was doing my business case completion and that turned out to be successful like it was a good investment as I did won the case competition. I got lots of recognition from just that competition. I was literally the face of Northwest College from that competition. So it's like, you know, I took up this additional tax thing on my head. And then when I had the volunteer things to do, I was filing taxes. And that was my second strike. <sighs> wow. So that was my second strike and usually three strikes you're out of the program like three strikes you're out now i got a warning email i got a warning email right on may 15 but by, by this time on may 15 the semester was over and i was pretty much free like you know i was pretty much free but i did have work that's when i got hired as a server i got hired as a server april month and right that was like right after my exams i got hired as a server now amanda reached out to me and amanda said hi Urain. thank you for info oh actually i reached out to her first so i reached out to her on may 14 right and i said to her hey i hope you're having a great day i wanted to touch base with you regarding a time clash between my work schedule because as I said, I'm trying to make an effort. I'm trying to show that, yes, I still want to be an ambassador, but there are things in my life that are just like clashing with the time of the meetings and the volunteer sessions. Sorry. So I told her, you know, there is a time clash between my work schedule and today's meeting. I work from four to nine, which overlaps with the meeting time. I wish I could call in, but I really need the money to help with my tuition for the fall semester. I hope this won't cause any trouble. Thank you. You know, because like, obviously I need the money. Like I need to go to work. Like who's going to pay my bills? Who's going to pay my tuition? And to my surprise, they raised the tuition fees for the coming semester. And I never even knew about that. It wasn't until they updated my, um, my student financials records. And I realized that it was way more than I had anticipated. So it's like, right now I'm just like, going crash minded like i don't know what's going on you know so i she responded to that email i sent to her and said she said thank you urine for informing me about your absence while i understand your reasons the late notice is problematic and has resulted in a fourth strike typically a third strike leads to removal from the program but I had hoped to see an improvement in your attendance and participation. You are a fantastic addition to the ambassador team, and I would love to see you continue. However, your lack of participation in volunteering and attending meetings impacts both the program and your teammates. Please let me know if there are any challenges you are facing that we can help, help you to stay engaged or if it's best for you to leave the program. Now, I responded to that email that she said, and I said, um, hold on, let me find that. Hey, Amanda, you are right. I have no excuse. I understand the importance of attending meetings and participating in volunteering activities, and I haven't been fulfilling my responsibilities as an ambassador. I will reflect on this and take immediate steps to improve my involvement. I'm committed to making a positive impact and ensuring my actions support the team and the program goals. So I responded to her saying that, you know, because like, yeah, I still wanted to be an ambassador. You understand? Like, even though that there was so much going on, like, I still wanted to do it. You get me? Now, um, when I said that I'm going to, you know, show some more effort, I then went ahead to sign up for another volunteering duty like i signed up for that on that specific day and i choose to sign up for it on a wednesday because on wednesdays i don't usually get like a work schedule on a wednesday right so i signed up to volunteer for that activity which was on a wednesday now sometimes 
I would only get my work scheduled like two days in advance. You get what I'm saying? Like two days in advance and I know what my next week's work schedule will look like. So it's not like I get my work schedule one week in advance and I know how we look for the next week. Like, no, I get it like sometimes two days in advance. So at this time, I got it two days in advance. And unfortunately, I was scheduled to work on the Wednesday when I put, you know, to do the volunteer activity. By this time, it was so close to the, um, to the, uh, the day for me to finish my shift. The day for me to go to the volunteer activity, it was already so close that when I sent the email to her saying that, hey, Amanda, you know, I won't be able to make it to today's shift. She was like, oh, you know, the same thing that happened at the last time. And that basically led to the removal of me from the program. So, yeah, no longer a student ambassador, unfortunately. But at the same time, like, it hurts initially, like when I got the removal email. Right, I don't want to read that email. What did she say? Okay, I can read the email. Let me let me let me have you guys hear the email because let me the removal email said Hi Irene, I hope you're doing well. I wanted to reach out to you because you missed your shift on May 30th for the high school lunch chat. Unfortunately, this is beyond your exceeded warning limit, which means per our policy we will have to remove you from the ambassador program. We greatly appreciate the efforts and commitment up to this point, but it's crucial for the program's success that all volunteers fulfill their commitments or inform us in advance if they're unable to attend. Your absence have impacted the activities and have taken away opportunities for other ambassadors to participate. I hope everything is okay with you. Best wishes on your future endeavors. Take care. And that was it. That was the removal email. So like when I saw the emails like, damn, I'm no longer an ambassador, but it was a good run. Like there were so much memories that I've created in the ambassador group. Like, you know, from when I first started, um, I did things like the, the first ever thing I did was like, there was, they were having this big function at school and I was there welcoming the guests in the open house. You know, I was there welcoming guests, introducing them to our programs, you know, like showing them around the campus, et cetera, et cetera. So like, I had some great memories, but unfortunately, I think it was time for me to leave the program because come in September, like I could see it within myself that even coming this September, <clears throat> I still wouldn't be able to fulfill the commitments, right? And um, one is because I'm gonna have full load courses and I have set the bar so high for this coming this semester to try and get a 4.0, which I'm really trying to go after. So because I've set that bar so high, it will take lots, lots of commitment to be in my book. That's one thing. And then I'll also be working in the fall semester. So I'll be balancing both work and school. And as I said, my work is quite a distance from my place. It's like, it's going to be a lot of traveling, work hours to get done. And I know it won't be able to like, meet with the ambassador meetings and volunteering etc etc like yeah i'm just gonna focus on school and work coming this fall semester like work for 20 hours so like if I, if I do 20 hours of work a week i know that's at least up to what that's gonna be 30 hours easily like 20 hours of work you practically have to account for 30 hours because there come times when you have to think about, oh, time to get ready. It takes an hour to get ready. You know, like press out this, press out that. Um, shower, you know, eat food before you go to work. And like, then it takes an hour on the bus to reach to my workplace. Cause you know, it's like a, a good distance, right? And like, you know, all those things will lead up to like 30 hours, like 20 hours of just work, then 30 hours of like getting to work and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So it's like, Having to do that plus, you know, school and finding time to study and relax, it would have been a burden. So like being removed from the ambassador program, as I said, it hurts, but it's the best decision. Like it was the best decision to make. And I thought for myself that like, it was a fair decision, in all honesty. Now, come in September, of course, even though I'll be busy, as I said, me as a person where like, even if I'm busy, is that I must always find time to take up something else on my head. For example, like the tax, tax filing is like, that just came out of nowhere. I'm just 
and just took it up on my hands. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, I know I'm coming um, fall semester this September. Um, there's nothing that I'm committed to and I won't commit to anything in terms of like committing to something long term where I have to go to training for this, training for that. No. But what I can say is that I will commit to things that are going to be like short term. Like, you know, like task force tasks, you know, like task force duties. So for example, I just do this today and then that's just it. There's like no going back. Like I do a speech, a speech today, no going back. I do this activity today, no going back. The other one is like, okay, I can always go into it and leave whenever I want. It's like there's no commitment or long-term commitment. So that's going to be like my main focus coming for the fall semester. Like I will be doing, I will be doing like activities, but it won't be things where it will require me to commit any long-term time because this is my last semester at Northwest College. It's my last semester. Like I believe I have done so much in my previous semester that it should be enough for me to like be above the rest so that this semester will just be to focus on my studies and just try to get that high GPA because with the high GPA it is a sure thing that I'll become on the honor roll list and then as I said my, my, my educational journey does not stop at Northwest College my educational journey will move on to either the University of Alberta, Macquarie University or King's University so having accomplished this type of GPA plus the additional task that I've done already will help me to not only secure scholarships, right, but also open up different doors with opportunities. You understand? So it's like, okay, focus on school, focus on making money because obviously I need money to take care of my place, right? I do my YouTube, but YouTube is not enough. Whenever no, I have no, I'm paying more in rent. Uh, um, to my surprise, as I said earlier, my tuition fees went skyrocketed. Which we never know that that because um, they did say something like it was gonna they was they were gonna increase the price of the tuition, but I never knew it was gonna be for the fall semester. I thought it would be for you know the next year, which would have been in 2025, but it's actually for this semester. And me kind of as myself like me, I feel like try to figure out how I'm gonna meet this, you know, to pay my tuition before August. I think it's like August 31st because the semester starts on the second, and if I can't pay it, they won't. They would literally like this is the thing I don't like with Northwest to be honest. Like I think there should be a case where okay, students have the option to do like a payment plan throughout the semester. Like they want everything before the semester starts. And if I can't pay before the semester starts, they are gonna remove me from the program. Like I won't have access to my classes, anything. So like I'm just trying right now my best to save up as much as I can, work as much as I can do as many youtube videos as much as i can like i sometimes i don't even have, i don't even have anything to talk about sometimes on youtube but i try you understand so like i'm trying to do that i have this place to take care of as i said earlier so like with an increased rent i have to find ways to increase my income so it's like you know i'm going to like just like try to lock in and like make money this month so yeah like unfortunately no longer an ambassador but there's so much more to come. So yeah, guys, again, thank you so much for watching my videos and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Uranus out. See y'all. Bye-bye.